Ready. I'll tell you when I'm done, okay? Okay. Is it good enough? Yeah. All right. Be careful. Hey. So as you guys can see, it is a rainy day and it has been rainy. Oh my God. All right, so as you guys can see, it is a rainy day outside. It's actually been raining like this for the past like four days. And it's gonna rain like this for the next three days. So perfect excuse to get some paramotor maintenance done. For reasons that I will not bore you with, this is like the longest I've gone without like doing any major maintenance. So I haven't, I haven't changed a spark plug. I haven't um, changed a spring. I've barely been like, doing any maintenance on this paramotor at all. I have not even changed the brass ring yet. I think I'm at like 65 hours. It still looks good, but um, yeah, it's just, I haven't had any time and I've been kind of neglecting it a little bit. So my fault, but we're gonna tear into it today and see what we find. I don't know. I mean, I'm not having any problems with the paramotor, but um, I'll show you guys what uh, a little bit of paramotor neglect looks like. All right, so as you guys can see, she's a little dirty, um, nothing major. This rust on this exhaust if anyone here owns an MY20 Moster, let me know about this because my other Moster, which was the, not whatever preceded the MY19, the original Moster, I, I mean, this thing lasted way longer. Basically the first 10 hours I had this, I started rusting down here. And that was before I ever flew on the beach or anywhere near the ocean. So um, then obviously I've flown near the ocean a few times since then and it just like exacerbated this problem. It just has gone crazy and I can't, I wipe it down with WD-40 and I can't keep up with it. So nothing I can do about that. I don't know if it's a MY20 thing, if they did something different, um, but seriously, let me know in the comments if you guys um, have seen this problem. I haven't seen anybody talking about it, but I've also not been on social media all that much lately. So let me know. Things on my list for sure. This um, prop tip I had previously repaired and then um, I did a landing on a sandbar. Ollie, chill out for a sec. I did a landing on a sandbar and uh, the sand was like ankle deep. It felt hard when I foot dragged it and then I sunk into it. Um, in any case, the prop hit the sand and my repair got kind of sandblasted. So I got to fix that. Not a huge deal. Um, but like I said, everything else is like, it looked good. I mean, I always do a pre-flight. I always check my little orange indicator stuff there. Check my springs, check my fuel lines, zip ties, things like that before I fly and shake everything. Um, and like I said, it's running perfectly. I've had no problems. Perfectly. Dude, I am filming this child. Um, and yeah, that's really it. So I also want to tighten the net a little bit because it's kind of loosened up over time. Um, other than that, anything we find is uh, going to be a surprise to me. Ollie, you ready, man? Oh, what are you doing? Don't touch that. No. I'm scared when I fly. All right, so 
got the head off. Nothing major, like obviously cylinder and the piston looks fine. A little bit of carbon buildup, but I'm honestly not worried about that. Um, and everything else honestly looks great. It's dirty, but it looks awesome. Like you can see the brass bushing there. Still looks good. Um, I'm gonna swap it because I got the parts wrong. But I don't see anything anything bad other than it needs to be cleaned. Um, I will show you this though. <sighs> the cooling shroud here. This design, like the Scout had them where you mount it on the top and I like that way better. This has these side stupid holes. And this happens. Like these are, I can't use these anymore. I have to rip these off. <sighs> That's on there, it's like glued. Um, and I'm not going to reuse these, so I'm not going to put the whole paramotor back together today. I'm going to have to order those parts, but, um, I mean, look at this stuff. That rubber. Yeah, I can't take that off my fingers. I have to pry it off and clean it. Um, but that's a pain in the butt. So other than that, and you also have to take out, you have to take, uh, where'd they go? Oh, they're on the head, duh. You got to take these out to get them off. Um. And you have to take that off to get to the head bolts, which brings me to the next point. The head bolts were all fine. There was one that was looser than the other three, but um, that's it. And then obviously there's just an O-ring, which is your gasket. Um, and that you're supposed to swap out. If I have another one, I will. Um, but honestly, I'll just lube it up and put it back in. That's what she said. <laughs> and this, I've always had this much carbon buildup. Um, every like 50 hours or something like that. I get about that much. It doesn't seem to do anything. I've cleaned it before, but I'm I'm honestly just gonna break off the major stuff and leave it the way it is. But that's where we're at so far. Nothing major. Oh, spark plug. Yep. So I know there's some spark plug nuts out there gonna tell me what they think about this. And they're gonna tell me I'm running it a little bit lean probably. Um, but I've had this spark plug in for probably 40 hours. Um, have had no issues. The only problem is that this is that stupid knot it's like screwed on top, which I don't like. I didn't know it was like that, to be honest. Um, but that's a bad, terrible design. You can see the spring has dug into the head. So definitely went over on this. Should have swapped this out. That was dumb of me. It's asking for an engine out. Um, but still had no problems with it, so I was fortunate. But I'll be swapping that spark plug out as well. And then um, right now we're going to go and do the, the exhaust spring. So let's get that done. So I have not found a better way to do that. And that just messed up my hand. These springs, maybe I'm just being a bitch. I don't know, but they, I always have a problem getting them off. I got an exhaust spring puller from like dirt bike days. And this thing bends every time you use it. You go to pull it and it bends. Um, so it is useless when it comes to the moisture. So that's the best thing. I guess I could put a towel on my hand and that could prevent <laughs> that injury. But um Paracord's the best way I figured out to do it. But if you know a better way, comment, let me know, please, because um, this is probably the 10th time I've swapped springs on a Moser, and um, I do it this way every time. So if you got a better way, let me know. So this is pretty cool here. Looks like, because the Moser MY20 has this um, uh, joint here that you don't need to take the whole exhaust off anymore, which is really nice. Hey, you can just kind of bend this down a little bit. Look at, get yourself enough room and pop this um, exhaust uh, flange off. So I'm gonna do that now. Shit. Golden. Looks like I got a new exhaust gasket in there. Everything I need. And a new head gasket. Get those off. And that's really convenient. That's easier than the old Moster. So this is all garbage now. Done with that. Um, and here is the um, brass bushing. So that is amazing. That's I never got this many hours on the old one. The old one would be long gone and disintegrated by now, for sure. And then the the flange on the actual exhaust on my old Moster would kind of get messed up because it would hit the exhaust flange on the cylinder and it would kind of form to that because of the vibration. But this is perfect. I mean, I that's awesome. I don't, I, I don't even think I needed to change this. I still have another quarter of an inch of bushing left. So that means my flange and my exhaust are both in perfect condition and i'm going to swap this out with this new piece here i mean look at that 
Actually, that doesn't look like the right piece, does it, you guys? <laughs> I don't have the right one. This is the bushing they sent me, but that is definitely not correct, because... All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. This is definitely not the right bush. They're not even near the same geometry. So this is the bushing for the old most. So I'm guessing this is an MY19 box that they sent me on accident. So I'm not gonna swap that out, but I'm looking at this. And the whole point of the brass bushing is to create a seal and kind of like, almost like a dampening device between this steel and the steel from the exhaust. So they're not clanging together. Um, and I still have, I mean, more than, more than enough brass here um, to continue working so I'm gonna clean this I'm gonna put this back on with this bushing on there order the right piece and swap it out in another 25 hours which I definitely have because this has 60 something hours maybe 70 hours on it so it's definitely gonna last another 25 uh, no problem so I'm gonna reuse this bushing for now and I'm gonna swap out all the springs and then when I you know take it apart in 25 hours to do more maintenance I'll swap that piece Washer. Nice job. What are you eating? The cookie? Mm -hmm. Oh, mine. Did I eat my cookie? It's mine, bud. Oh. guys so that's about it um overall i didn't really find anything major which says a lot about this motor because like i said i've been pretty much neglecting it for the past uh i don't know 50 60 hours so um like i said yeah nothing i took the head off again the second time i've had the head off uh, a little bit of carbon build up but i was having no issues with it the spark plug was pretty worn out um that's an easy change though. i should have done that earlier so i swapped that clean the head uh replace all the nuts for the head and everything like that that i had extra Place the gasket down here. Like I said, I left that bushing in there because it had a ton of life left, um, but I'm feeling good. I did fix the prop. I got a whole nother video on how to fix propellers though, so I left that out. And I tightened my net, which was um, loose. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. What'd I do? What'd you do? Built that? Mm -hmm. What is it? It's like a soldering iron, scout, paramotor oh, engine, yeah. spacer, yeah. hex key thing. No, this is Dude. A, this is a, ah, oh. it's, it's just a larger. It's just a larger? Huh? Hey. Yeah. Look at me. I love you. I love you.